Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today I'm joined by Jason Isabel, the deer biologist for the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today we're going to be talking about carcass transportation restrictions and why we have them and how they help manage CWD here in the state of Missouri. So thanks for joining with me today, Jason. So tell us, kicking it right off, why do we have carcass transportation restrictions here in the state of Missouri? So we've had chronic wasting disease detected in our state and the carcass transport restrictions are a way for us to minimize the spread of CWD in the state. Um, uh, one of the ways the disease can spread is uh, hunters not, uh, not understanding the threat that moving deer carcass and, and deer parts can pose if those animals were to be infected. And so having those restrictions on the books just helps us to do everything we can to minimize the spread of the disease in our state. So kind of kicking things off, you know, when you're talking, there's restrictions in all of your CWD counties. Um, what about restrictions in counties that are not in the zone? Is there certain restrictions they need to follow as well? No, so the carcass transport restrictions only apply to the CWD management zone counties. So if I'm a hunter, we're gonna throw it out there. If I'm a hunter and I actually hunt in a CWD management zone and I harvest a deer and I harvest a nice buck and I want to get it, take it to the taxidermist, and I want to take it to the taxidermist in my county that is not in the management zone, what exactly, how, what exactly do I do to follow those regulations? Sure. Yeah, so if you're going to deliver that to a taxidermist, it would just have to be done within 48 hours of leaving the county of harvest. But you'd also have to be mindful of what you do with the rest of the deer as well. And so, the only way that um, parts of the deer with the brain and spinal column can exit the county harvest is one, if the carcass is going to a uh, certified meat processor within 48 hours leaving the county harvest, or as I said, if uh, the deer head is going to a taxidermist within 48 hours of leaving the county harvest. Other than that, none of those what we would call high risk parts, parts of the deer that have the brain or spinal column could leave the county harvest with the exception of CWD testing as well. So if you had the head of that deer, you wanted to have that samples for CWD, you could also take it to a CWD sampling station as long as it was within 48 hours of leaving the county harvest. So that's, that pretty much applies to if I, any time I hunt in a management zone and live out of a management zone and I wanna just bring it back for um, processing myself and take it to my own personal processor that someone I know in my county, that those all follow. Well, one thing to remember too is if you, if you harvest a deer in a CWD management zone county, none of those high risk parts can leave the county um, to, to even go into another county that's in the CWD management zone either with, without following the restrictions that I mentioned. So it, it wouldn't matter if you harvested a deer in the management zone county and you wanted to uh, transport the deer to a county outside the zone or even the neighboring county within the zone, the, the, reg, the restrictions are the same regardless. Okay, so there's no... So that's great you said that. So there's, say if I'm hunting in a CWD zone and I live in a CWD zone, but I'm like a county or two away, if I harvested one in this county and drove back to my county, you're not allowed to do that. You're supposed to leave the following restrictions. You're supposed to leave your deer in the county it was harvested in. Is that correct? It ultimately depends on how you're gonna take care of the deer, right? Okay. So if you're gonna take it to a processor, you'd be perfectly fine to do that as long as you got it to the processor within 48 hours of leaving the county harvest. If you're gonna have it mounted, as long as you delivered that head to the tax service within 48 hours of exiting the county harvest, you're fine. If you're, where it changes a bit is if you process your own deer. So if you were lived in a management zone county, uh, if you, excuse me, hunted in a management mm -hmm. county and you lived in a, a different county, regardless of where that was, and you process your own deer, what you would have to do is basically debone or quarter the deer uh, and only take the debone meat or the quarters outside of the that county harvest okay. the everything else the, the brain spinal column the high risk what we would call high risk mm -hmm. parts need to stay back in the county where you harvested the deer okay and then that's it, um, overall why we we recommend that and why that's a restriction is because moving those parts could spread cwd correct yes exactly so the worst case scenario would be somebody that, that hunts um, you know, in management zone county, shoots a positive deer, processes their own deer, transports those high risk parts out of the county to where they live, processes the deer, and then dumps the, the remains out on the back 40. That's the, one of the easiest ways this disease can spread. And so by following the carcass transport restrictions, if they're going to a processor or a taxidermist, as I mentioned, the, both of those type of businesses have to properly dispose of any unused portions. So we can be assured that the unused portions from those businesses are being properly disposed of in a, in a landfill. 
And by having hunters that process their own deer leave those high-risk parts in the county of harvest, we know they're not transporting those high-risk parts outside of that county. All right, that's that's really good. And and kind of twisting it up a little bit, Jason, I mean, what about those that hunt out of state and that come into state and they harvest a deer, say, somewhere else and bring it in? Well, what are the restrictions on that? Sure. So they harvest a, a deer, an elk, a moose, or a caribou, uh, mm -hmm. any cervid. They can't bring the whole carcass back into Missouri. So what they would have to do um, is debone it uh, or, or quarter it. Basically, the high-risk parts, the head spinal column, have to ha cannot enter the state with one exception. So if they want to have uh, their animal mounted, they can bring back the head as long as it's got the cape attached and no more than six inches of neck. And if they take that to a, a licensed taxidermist within 48 hours of coming into the state, they're fine. But that's the only exception. All right. And we can get you can get more information where about carcass uh, restriction transportation. Yeah, where so can you find all that info? Sure. If folks go to mdc.mo.gov forward slash CWD, we have all the information about our about CWD in general, CWD management, surveillance, and, and information about the carcass transport restrictions. Awesome, and you can also find it in the deer and turkey regulations booklet uh, that's out that you can find in nature centers and regional offices around the state and even online. All right, thank you very much, Jason, and thank you very much for tuning in today. You all have a great rest of the day.